Hey everybody, I'm back again. This time I'm here with Jason Hill from Owl Mountain Models. We've been spending the past couple of days filming for a couple of episodes of Product Spotlight. This one, the first one, we're going to talk about some stuff that he brought. And why don't you talk about what you brought? Oh, okay. We brought a new lumber load kit that we've released in September of 2018. Uh, we actually have two kits. One is for our Owl Mountain flat car, which you guys reviewed. A few right, built videos. it in. Yeah, reviewed you, it, right? You built it last year, yeah. yeah, and that was great. That was the last series of model building start to finish that we did. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And uh, so we're going to review that and uh, highlight the details of that, and it's mm -hmm. going to be pretty good. And we're also going to be looking at a 52-foot gondola, which we'll be using our 3005 kit, which is basically the same kit, but with 50% more material. All right. Shall we go to the workbench? Sounds good. Should we go that one or that one? Oh, we're just good. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe upstairs. Okay, we'll okay. just go to one of the workbenches. One, one of the workbenches. We'll, we'll see you at the workbench. Sounds good. All right. So this is some pretty cool stuff. It looks real, Jason. What, what do you got here? Well, right here we have both the Owl Mountain 3004 and 3005 lumber load kits. On our Owl Mountain flat car here we have a 3004 which also works in gondolas. And over here we have two of the 3005s. This is a modified version that has the iron wire wraps on the top. This one has the included uh, cross members. And so these kits are available for the 52 foot gondolas. Cool. Well, maybe we should take a closer look at each one then. That sounds good. Okay, here we have a Walther's double door 50 foot boxcar with a Owl Mountain Models 3004 lumber load kit modified to fit inside. And if the doors were open, you'd actually be able to see inside and see the load. This is, of course, is a mock up. I haven't finished this car yet. So, how is it modified to fit inside? Well, I guess that answers that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so again here, um, it's not quite finished. Of course, this is really just a rough mock-up. I haven't even weathered anything yet. But the next step will be notching uh, the load to fit over and around the weights and put some boards along the floor of the car and so forth so that when the top sits down over the over like that, you will, uh, you'll be able to see the lumber loads. On the left, we have the 3004 kit, and on the right, we have our older 3001 kit, which is wider. Oh, so this is why you decided you needed to make a narrower one. Yeah, this is why we decided to do the 3004 and 5 kit specifically to work on our new um, Owl Mountain flat car. Here on the right we have the 3001 kit, which the stakes do, don't even fit into the stake pocket. They actually overhang the edge of the deck, whereas the 3004 kit on the left, the stakes can actually go down into the pockets and key in. Right, key. I can understand because it really does look unsafe having a load that's just way too wide like that because you can't really tie it down. You can't use the stakes as, as tie down points, if you will. Which was why we're putting it on the model is that was the point of the stakes is there to hold the load on. Right. Yeah. There was a quality control experiment done by one of the Pacific Northwest Railroads. They followed one particular lumber load randomly. They chose one car that was loaded with lumber as it moved east towards Chicago. And in something like 1,400 miles, they had to stop and set the car out 11 times and have the load reshifted and rebraced to keep the load on the car. Basically, the load was trying to get off the car about every 120 miles at every division point. This one car, they had to set it out. And you can imagine that multiplied over a few hundred cars, how much lumber traffic was having to be reshifted at the division points and how much lo longer that took and how much more labor that took. And so by the mid-50s, that's why you see the... Um, basically the explosion of the use of the uh, steel straps to band the loads together and keep them from moving around. On the right, I'm showing an example of the loads that we've built to fit inside the gondolas. These, this particular load pair right here is designed to fit in a red caboose gondola. And so if you notice, the stakes don't go all the way down to the stake pockets. So this load really shouldn't be on a flat car. I didn't happen to have a red caboose gondola on hand at the moment. Um, whereas on the left, on our version for a flat car, you can see the stakes actually do go all the way into the pocket. On the right, the stakes don't go down to the pocket, and I can actually slide the load across like that, and it still sits level. And if you notice, you have to have the stakes notched to fit inside the gondola, 
And so the 3004 and 5 kits include stakes that are modified to have these uh, molded in notches. So here we have two of the 3005 kits. In the background you can see where the loads are built up full height and um, in the foreground this is a kit that's basically dropped one of the uh, units of lumber here. And in this one we're using the iron wire banding. Now the interesting thing also on these is these are modular and this one I've made is one solid load. This one is in multiple pieces. So the, this can be put into a 40 foot car as just these two pieces or as a 52 foot 6 inch car in three pieces. So here we have a tangent 52 foot 6 inch gondola and the 3005 lumber load kit. And in this case it just drops in just like that. Nice. It's nice and easy. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm at the lumber yard going to buy some stuff for this new project I have. This looks really cool. You could have a lumber yard, you could have a forklift or one of those picker things. Yeah, a lumber hauler or something. Yeah, that would be really cool. Maybe a truck, right? Mm -hmm. Driving off the, the yard yeah. and, uh, premises or whatever. Yeah, you could put a lumber load like this on a tr flatbed truck for all, you, for all the options. And one of the other options, in this case, we have a car freshly arrived with a new load of lumber. In an operating session, for example, if your crew or your uh, car clerk or whatever was going to um, unload a car, even during the middle of a session, you could sit here and uh, actually basically take the load out and for the rest of the session leave it as a pile of lumber in the yard and it would actually probably fit right in. Right. Depends how into role playing the whole team is, right? Yeah, exactly. That's it's, really it's, cool. It's a role playing game with live pieces. The 3004 kit on the left is designed for the Owl Mountain Models F50 series flat car and most 40-foot gondolas that are on the market. It can be used on cars between 36 and 50 feet for the gondolas and the loads on the right have 50% more lumber load sprues which makes them suitable for 52-foot-6 gondolas. So here's the components that come in a 3004 kit, four sprues of the lumber load panels with additional bracing and the lighter colored sprue of the stickers and dunnage. All right, so thanks for coming. Uh, greatly appreciated. It's great and to be here. Share, sharing the products, that's what product spotlights are about. The uh, loads look really good. I mean, they look really realistic. So it was very, very impressive. And we've been filming for the past couple of days, so next week we're gonna have, again, thanks for this, uh, Jason's gonna show you how to build the kits and how to weather them so that they look like what you saw on the product spotlight today. That's the plan. Yeah, so we will see you next week.